What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie2988 coming at you live once again through the power of the internet. And this video is dedicated to two different groups of people. The first of which is the supersized, the morbidly obese, the just plus sized, the fatties. This video is dedicated to you for a lot of different reasons. I hope that you can listen to it with an open mind and an open heart, and I want you to remember I love you. Even though I'm going to say some very challenging things to you, I love you for who you are. This video is also going out to our opponents, the people who hate us for being the size that we are, the ones that make fun of us when we try to, go, try to go out in public and live our lives, the people who make fun of us behind the safety of a keyboard on the internet, the people who point and laugh when you go to a restaurant or a grocery store and make bad lifestyle choices. This video is for you, and I hope that even though you probably will hate the messenger, you can listen to and understand the message I have something that we could both learn from today. Now, at first, I need to tell you a little bit about myself. I've been obese for the entirety of my life. As a very young child, I was overweight. As a high school student, I was obese. As a young adult, I was nearly disabled by my weight. And a lot of factors led to this. Some people could call them excuses. Some people would call them reasons. But regardless of them, the truth of the matter is, I have spent a lifetime struggling with my weight. I've always wanted to come out on top, and I found it very, very difficult to do so. Now, my laundry list of excuses for being fat um, involve a lot of legitimate stuff. I grew up in an abusive home. I was mentally, physically abused, and one of the ways that I was abused was by being fed wrong on purpose. Uh, you could add to that list my depression. You could say the hormonal imbalance that we've discovered that I have is one of the factors. You could say the fact that I've been disabled by my weight for so long and I've been sick for so long that it was almost impossible for me to exercise to burn the weight. I have a lot of excuses. But if you're one of the people who are an opponent to people like me, you're going to call that fat logic. Fat logic, as described by Urban Dictionary, is rationalization or justification of behaviors that reinforce or keep a person fat, justifying certain eating behaviors or certain fatty behaviors that we may all be susceptible to. Some great examples of fat logic that I personally have used. Um, I'm too overweight to be able to exercise. I don't have enough skill or time to prepare my own meals, so I have to eat fast food. And of course, I always choose the, the worst foods for myself. Um, I, I, I did such a good job. I was so busy today and I did a lot of exercise. I deserve to go to my favorite buffet and pig out. Um, I, I don't drink coffee, so I, I should drink the soda because I need the sugar and the caffeine the same way everybody else does. And these excuses are bad and they will keep you trapped in a mindset that will keep you fat for the rest of your life. What I'm trying to say here is if you're one of the people that hate me for the way I am, the way I look, the size of my body, you hate my lifestyle choices, and you've accused me of using fat logic to talk myself into doing stupid shit, congratulations. You win. You got a point. Bravo. But I need you to understand that there are legitimate reasons that a person will use fat logic to begin with. There are legitimate factors that can affect a person's eating habits and lifestyle choices. And these change wildly on a case-by-case -case scenario. But the most common ones that I've seen have been an unhealthy relationship with food, a mental addiction to the food as if it were an abusable substance, which it very easily is, a slow metabolism based on a thyroid condition or a hormonal imbalance, becoming disabled because of your own size, making it very difficult to exercise or to achieve things, mental illness, physical illness, the list goes on and on. A lot of people have this picture in their heads of some fat guy who just really likes french fries and he's justifying his behavior because he really wants to keep eating french fries and even though he's eating himself into an early grave, even though he's fat enough to where it's starting to be uncomfortable that people make fun of him and he's not attractive, he just, he just doesn't care. And I can tell you from experience, I've never met that person. I don't think they exist. I think they're a figment of your fucking imagination. I have spoken to thousands of people who are overweight, and in doing so, I have learned that there is a common thread that ties us all together. Each case, every person, has had something wrong 
here or here. In every case, there was something either mentally or emotionally wrong with the person that caused them to continue to overeat, to not care about what was happening to their body, to their life, to their social circle, to their family. Something was wrong inside them that made them go down that self-destructive course. And when you make fun of someone who is on a self-destructive course, someone who's learned to not give a shit about their existence, who no longer loves themselves enough to take care of themselves, you are doing irreparable harm. If your result and desire is to make the person lose weight when your mockery hits us, it has the exact opposite reaction. You are making fun of someone who is depressed, who is self-loathing, who is unable to take care of themselves. You are being an asshole. So the next time you want to tweet about your fat friend, the next time you want to tell somebody that they need to put down that slice of cake because they're gross. The next time you want to point and laugh at the guy in the mark cart who could very well be me. If you want to make fun of the fat kid in gym class, shut the fuck up. Now, for my fat friends. This is not an excuse for you to stay fat. This is a wake-up call. I'll defend you to the last of my dying breath, but I need you to do three things for me. Number one, I need to know whether or not you're happy being fat. Because if you are, if you're happy who you are, more power to you. Stay exactly the way you are. Die fat and proud and happy and love yourself. Love yourself no matter how big or small you are, no matter what shape or size you come in, that's awesome. And if you don't, let's move on to step two. Number two, I need you to ask yourself why you're fat. Now, it took me years to answer that question, years of therapy and years of support from family and friends, but I finally have an answer. My answer involves a lot of physical components and mostly mental ones. I have a lot of challenges to overcome before I'm going to be able to get on the right path and do the right thing. And each day is a struggle and a challenge. But right here, right now, in this moment, I want you to go to the comment box below and I want you to start typing out the first part of your answer. Why are you so big? Why did you let yourself get overweight? Why are you continuing to do it? Let's soul search and figure that out. And then we'll move on to step three. Step three. Let's make a plan. What are we going to do about this? Now, your plan may be to just continue living your life exactly the way you want to, exactly the way you have been, and if that's the case, that's okay. More power to you. But if you have a list of reasons that you're overweight and you're unhappy being that way, we need to start attacking each and every single step, everything that's on that list. If you're unhappy, if you're depressed, if you're physically unfit, start fixing that stuff today. That's something I had to do. It's something I'm in the process of doing. And it's something you're going to have to do if you want to live longer, if you want to be healthy, and for some of us, if you want to be happy. So I, I just watched the video that I produced and uh, I get a really strong feeling it's going to upset a lot of people. I feel like there's going to be a lot of fat advocates who are going to be mad at me. I feel like there's going to be a lot of uh, fat opponents who are going to be pissed off as well. And uh, I, I, I'm debating even uploading it, but I'm going to. And if you see this, clearly I have. So I want to leave this with a very simple message. Whether you're a fat advocate and you're plus size and loving it, whether you're a fat opponent and you're anorexic and you can't stand to eat food because it scares you, no, I love you. I love you no matter who you are. And I'm sorry if this video offended you. I'm sorry if I said something stupid. This is all just my opinion. And it's just the shit that I've gone through that's led me to this point. Your shit may vary. But if just one person out there who's led a life like mine and has made the decisions that I've made could change their mind today and live a better life for it, it'll all have been worth it. So bring your hate. Share this video. Tweet it out to the fattosphere. <laughs> Just know I love you.